So you've got stripes and you think that they're a print that's really hard to wear and that you can't style in more than one or two ways. Breton stripes are a classic wardrobe staple. They're a staple in the French woman's wardrobe. And if you've got a Breton stripe t-shirt or a long sleeve Breton stripe t-shirt and you want some ideas about how to style them for spring and year round, then this video is definitely for you because I've taken the same Breton stripe t-shirt and my same favorite pair of jeans and I've styled eight looks using the Breton t-shirt and my favorite pair of jeans. If you didn't notice, I have my sick voice on, so I'm just getting over one of the worst colds I've ever had in my life, and I feel like I've still got lots of healing to do, so please be kind to me in the comment section below. You guys know that I pride myself on shopping secondhand as much as I possibly can, so I'm going to be talking a lot about thrifted and secondhand fashion here, and I think it's nice to invest in pieces where you can, and then if you can save and you find something unique secondhand, then go for it. Look number one is featuring a thrifted blazer that I just got. You guys have seen me talk about this. It's a Ralph Lauren cropped linen blazer and it's a little bit oversized on me, but I actually really love that. And I'm wearing a rouge handbag that is a rouge dupe from Etsy and I'm wearing my second hand Castaner espadrilles that I got on Poshmark. I think that this outfit really works because something about that contrast of that bright blue denim and the cropped brown blazer just works and then of course you've got the stripes in the handbag calling out the stripes in the top. And because the stripes in the top are very 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 dark navy, I think they can read as black no problem. So I decided to pair the black espadrilles with it to keep this look you know light for spring and then both we decided to make his star appearance. I freaking love this dog. He is my he is my pride and joy and I just adore him so much. And he's such a good boy. <laughs> oh, comment below if you have a pride and joy for a baby too. I just love I love animals and I love dogs. So I'm glad that he makes appearances. But yeah, I'm also wearing, I forgot to mention, I'm not wearing any jewelry except for my wedding rings and these thrifted earrings I got recently. They are beautiful silver earring hoops, uh, which you can see here. And I, they're kind of like a rose gold almost, but they're real from Italy. They have like a little Italian stamp, silver 925. You can't beat the thrift store. My goodness, I'm so blessed to have great thrift stores near me. Moving on to look number two, this is like a go-to outfit for me. I'm wearing my dad's Levi's trucker jacket from the 70s. I found out that this was my dad's jacket. I think it was last Mother's Day. My mom was like, we were doing a little Mother's Day vlog. She's like, did you know that was your dad's actually? I always thought it was hers. Funny thing is, my dad told me that when he got that denim jacket, it was actually dark, dark blue. So I wear this thing nonstop. It is like a piece of armor for me and I think it goes very well with the A. Goldie jeans. Things are slightly different. And you can see that the only thing I changed from the previous outfit was the jacket. What do you think about the Canadian tuxedo? I'd love to know in the comments below. Moving on to look number three. This is a very new to me look, yet it's very familiar. As you all know, I've thrifted a Ralph Lauren three-piece suit. It's pinstripe, dark navy, and it has this beautiful vest, which I have not been loving on enough. I haven't challenged myself to style the vest in any way, so I thought, why not have this little peak of stripes? The stripes do have a nautical throwback, and I just thought, well, that bit peeking out at the top would be super nautical and very Ralph Lauren. And I think the jeans with the vest is very Ralph Lauren because he's kind of known for having this tailored approach to his pieces, but also having a lot of Americana. So jeans, like a classic pair of denim, is really like a big, I would say a big staple piece for Ralph Lauren. But I loved the way that this looked together. I was kind of blown away that I've never challenged myself to style these two pieces with my favorite pair of jeans. And then of course I've got my thrifted Matisse leather ankle boots on. I feel super cute in this and I thought I could even wear this outfit without the blazer. I could wear it without the vest all together with the Calvin Klein handbag and that Christian Dior silk scarf. So I wanted to see what this looked like without kind of this buttoned up feel and I think it works. I really do. I could totally see this with just a plain white t-shirt and it being 
very cute but I do think you could definitely pull this off and if the vest is like too showy for you I would highly recommend just removing the vest or if you you don't have a vest don't even worry about it i think that this all just works so well together and i feel like me i feel very cool i feel me this is something that i would wear all the time and i don't wear it all the time so i'm proud of myself for pushing to style this new outfit hush phobie mommy's recording an important video about stripes This is again a classic one that I feel like I've styled in this way maybe a couple of times, definitely for the Parisian Style Challenge with Jessica. I thought I would bring it back up because I don't think I styled it with the A Goldie jeans and I, and I feel like these jeans are literally the most flattering jeans in the world. Honestly, finding them secondhand was a real blessing because I don't think I could afford them otherwise. I'm pairing them with my Everlane Drape trench coat which I've nearly gotten rid of a couple of times. So glad I haven't. It's great for spring. It's very lightweight cotton trench coat for spring. And I think that this combination just works so well with the Calvin Klein handbag and the Christian Dior silk scarf kind of pulls the whole look together. And then of course, always sporting the Chanel mules that my best friend Kate got for me at the thrift store for $11. She is the best. But yeah, I thought that this look just worked. You could swap out the shoes for Converse, you could swap them out for Vans, you could do boots. I would love to do those like very light beige cream lace-up boots from Ted Baker, but one of you mentioned in the comments section, very practical observation is that they would be scuffed up immediately. <laughs> so good on you guys for calling that out. Look, number five is very different for me. It's a bit of a departure, but I was really inspired by Lizzie Hatfield um, in this, and I have purchased these Lucky Brand suede high top. They're not high top. They're like a very platform lace-up tennis shoe. And this beautiful purse was a recent thrift store find. This was made in Italy. It is real snake skin, and I want to say it's probably from the 80s, and it's got this beautiful gold chain. It's just like a little clamshell purse. The blazer is a leather blazer, again from the 90s or 2000s. I also got that at the thrift store, but it just seemed so cool and boxy to me, and I thought, what a fun way to kind of like juxtapose this leather blazer with a suede pair of tennis shoes. It didn't seem like it was gonna work, but it definitely did. All the colors work together, I think. If you've got a nice pair of tennis shoes, pair of your favorite jeans and a striped top, you know, just throw on any outerwear piece and you're gonna look super cute. But I feel like all of these pieces together just kind of work to make me look a little bit more edgy than I am. <laughs> and I'm wearing my H&M sunglasses uh, that I've had for several years now. And I feel like this look works. Would you wear this style of like casual meets grungy, edgy? I'm very curious. Oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with this. I feel like it's definitely one of the most classic looks out there. I'm wearing a new, new to me, mango tweed cropped jacket. This is very Chanel. And then I'm wearing my Matisse um, leather ankle boots and then that cute little python or snake skin. It's like uh, mind-blowing to me that I found this. It was only like five dollars or something like that. This cute little clamshell purse from the 80s. I just think that this look works so well. Obviously it's Bobby approved. He's bringing me his phone to tell me that he loves it and um, yeah, I mean, what more do you need than your own dog's approval? This is such a favorite look of mine. I would wear this all the time. I can't believe I haven't thought to style this before. It's really not that much different than the, you know, the pinstripe blazer look, but it's just the style of the outerwear that's making this appear so very different. And I love that the gold buttons are calling out the gold chain. Um, so it's all kind of working together and being a bit cohesive. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this, is this like, a dream look come true. Do we love it as much as Bobby? I hope so. Look number seven is trying to bring in that spring neutral palette into the mix. This is a Talbot's 
thrifted blazer. It's a petite, so you can definitely see that when I put it on. It's a very short sleeve on me, but my, I took my other two blazers to the dry cleaners. It's a very light, cool piece, and I think it goes very well with the light colored Castaner espadrilles. I'm kind of blown away that you can get that many styles out of one t-shirt and one pair of jeans. So I paired it with the Rouge Dupe handbag, and again, it's calling out that stripe situation again, stripes on stripes, and I just love that the neutral raffia pairs so well with the neutral linen and I feel very cute in this honestly and if you didn't want to wear the stripes you could swap it out for a white t-shirt a cream colored tank top or something like that or even like a black lace camisole would be really pretty. I, I feel very nice and, and put together in this outfit and it's amazing how that lighter colored brightens up this whole look. So as we wrap up this video and I'm going to show you the final eighth outfit, I would love to know in the comment section below what you guys think about these looks so far. I hope you are taking away some inspiration from them. Let me know if you're inspired. Let me know if you'd like more videos like this where I'm styling one or two pieces multiple ways or if you'd like to another Breton striped t-shirt styling video. That would be so much fun. Um, but let's move on to look number eight, the final look. I think that you're going to be blown away. This is a thrifted piece I got probably a few months ago and I've just never worn it. Shame on me. It is a periwinkle blue. It's actually more bright blue than it is in this video, so it's not as pastel looking. Very, very, very sharp blue, but it looks great in this video. It is a suede jacket and it was like $8, I'm not even joking. Um, it's in perfect condition, it's got this great gold hardware, so I decided to pair it with that same thrifted snakeskin bag that also has the gold chain. I just think they look very cute together. The black in the bag is calling out the quote unquote black stripes in the t-shirt. And then I thought the sunglasses would be a nice mix. And then pairing it with the Chanel mules, which are also black. Keeping all the accessories cohesive and then adding that one big pop of color is what makes this look work so very well. And if you've ever wondered like how to make yourself look more polished or finished or how to complete an outfit, it really just comes down to a few simple little accessories. Your jewelry, maybe a nice pair of sunglasses, a couple of cute handbags, a couple of cute shoes, and really it's the outerwear that does it. Okay guys, that does it for me today. I'm so grateful. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell notification because that helps this channel out so much. And if you wouldn't mind sharing this video with a friend who you think would definitely want to style their Breton striped t-shirt in several different ways and get outfit inspiration, then definitely share it. And keep your eyes peeled because I don't know if you heard on Instagram, but Jessica Harumi and I are going to be hosting the third round of the Parisian Style Challenge, the 10x10 wardrobe challenge, starting next week. So be on the lookout for that as well. So next week's video, we're going to be sharing our 10x10 capsule wardrobes, and I've got some super fun stuff planned. Um, anyways, you guys, I love you all so much. I'm very grateful for you being here, and I genuinely mean it. I'm so appreciative of you and all of your love and support, and I can't wait to see you all next week. So take really good care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.